recently I got a little curious about dog shows. I was wondering how many dogs are in these shows? So I went to one. Didn't bring my dogs, to their credit they're not into the whole sit, stay, roll over thing, but I went to the show to check out the dogs and, and count them. And I got there just in time for the prizes. And, and here are the prizes they gave out. They gave out 31 of these red three-tasseled ribbons, 42 of these blue two-tasseled ribbons, 37 of these green one-tasseled ribbons. Now, some of the dogs received more than one ribbon. Four super dogs got all three. And there were 13 who got a red and a blue. That includes all the super dogs. And nine who got a red and a green, four who got a blue and a green. But, you know, I wasn't really concerned about, about the prizes. You know, counting the ribbons, that's not hard. I can just add all these up. But I want to know how many dogs there were. And I can't just add these three up. Because if I just add the red, the blue, and the green ribbons that were given out, I'm going to count the super dogs three times. I count some of these other dogs twice. So I can't just add these three numbers up to figure out how many dogs there were. And, well, I like the dogs a lot more than the prizes. So I wonder how, how many dogs are here. Well, I figured I'll try my Venn diagram. Except I'll try three circles. One green, one blue, one red, one for each ribbon, instead of just two. So we'll start off with a box. Put all the dogs, all the dogs go in a box. That way they can't run around as much and they'll be easier to count. So there's our box. We're going to have one, one circle for each ribbon. So we'll start with a red ribbon. And all the dogs who want a red ribbon go in the red circle. And then next, green. All the dogs who want a green ribbon go in the green circle. And then all the dogs who won the two-tassel blue ribbon, they go in the blue circle. And now all you have to do is take the dogs, put them in the right place in the box. Now, it's, we'll start with the outside, because that's easiest. There are no dogs who are very concerned about the self-esteem of the poor little doggies, or at least the poor little doggy owners. There were no dogs who received no ribbons. So there are no dogs sitting out here. Now what? Well, we can't start here with the dogs that receive red ribbon and nothing else. So we don't, we don't know that number. All we know is that there are 31 in this whole circle. But we do know, if we start from the middle, start from the inside and work out, well, we do know there are four super dogs. And they're the dogs that are in all three circles. So this overlap region where all three circles overlap, there are four. And once we have that, now we can work from the inside out. And let's see, we'll start here. There are 13 with red and blue, so there are 13 in the overlap of red and blue. We already have four super dogs here, so there have to be nine out here. Those nine got a red and a blue, and not a green. And in just the same way, we look at the red and green overlap, there should be nine total. We have four accounted for, so there are five out here. There have to be 12 in here. We have four accounted for, so there are eight that received a blue and a green, but no red. Now that we have these three numbers, we can figure out how many received only red. We've already counted 18 dogs that have received a red ribbon. There are 31 total. It leaves 31 minus 18. 13 dogs received a red ribbon and nothing else. And then over here, we've counted 5 plus 4 plus 8. It's 9 plus 8 is 17. 17 green ribbons have already been accounted for. So 37 minus 17 leaves 20 dogs who received only a green ribbon. And finally, 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 9 is 21. There are 42 blue ribbons given out total. So there are 21 dogs who only received a blue ribbon. And now we can tally up the dogs. So let's go ahead and count them up. I'm going to kind of group them by tens to make it a little easier to count. we got 21 plus 9, it's 30. Plus our 20 over here is 50. Now when we add up these, well, we have 13 plus 5 is 18, plus 4 is 22, plus 8 is 30. 30 plus the 50 we already had, check them off as I count them, gives us 80 dogs total. And there we go, I've counted the dogs. Use the Venn diagram. I thought that was really slick, I showed it to my friend John, I said, hey, Venn diagram, three circles. Let's see your subtraction method do that. And he said, hey. That's as easy as pie. 
He even wrote it down. P I E. And I said, John, that's 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 not very helpful. That doesn't tell me anything. He's like, what are you talking about? It's principle, inclusion, exclusion. He even wrote that down too. And then I was sure he didn't know what he was talking about. Inclusion, exclusion. I certainly didn't know what he was talking about. John, this, this doesn't help me either. You're, you're going to have to show me. And he said, oh, okay, I'll show you how it works. All right, we want to count the dogs, so we'll start off by counting how many ribbons are given out. You gave out 31 reds, 42 blues, and 37 greens. And of course, I'm like, come on, John, that's going to count some of the dogs a bunch of times. The super dogs are going to count them three times. Some of these other dogs are going to count twice. That can't possibly be right. He said, of course, of course it's not right. Not finished. It's going to count some of these dogs twice. Let's look at the dog that gets a red and a blue ribbon. Count them once here. Count them once here. Count them twice. Only want to count them once. So what do we do? We subtract them once. We've counted them twice. We only want to count them once. We subtract them once, so we subtract them. Added, added the red and blue dog once here, once here, subtracted it once here. That means I've counted it once and only once, and that's the whole goal in the counting problem. Count them all once and only once. And we do the same thing with these other dogs. These dogs have got a red and a green. Counted them once for red, once for green, so we subtract them once for red and green. And then same thing for the, the blue and the green dogs. Subtract them once. So now, every dog that received only one ribbon is counted exactly once in one of these three. They only get a blue, they're counted here. Only get a green, only get a red. Any dog that gets exactly two ribbons is also counted only once. Counted twice in this first line, once for each of the ribbons they get, and then subtracted once. Added twice, subtracted once, that means you've counted them once and only once. So every dog that's gotten only one ribbon is counted once. Every dog that's gotten exactly two ribbons is counted once. But I said, hey, John, what about the super dogs? He said, hey, can't forget the super dogs. Let's take a look here, what we've done with the super dogs. Well, they're included here, so we counted them once. Included here, counted them twice. Included here, so we've added them three times, once for each of these ribbons. But each of the super dogs is also included here, here, and here, because they have these two colors, have these two colors, have these two colors. So we've subtracted them in each one of these. So we've added them three times and subtracted them three times. We haven't counted them all and you've got to count the super dogs. So we just add them back in once. And now the super dogs are counted once and only once. And sure enough, I went ahead and computed this, added these three, subtracted these three, and added that, and I got 80. It worked. This, this inclusion-exclusion thing, this pi thing, it worked. So now we've done the problem two different ways, got the same answer, so we're pretty sure we're right. Hmm. I thought this was pretty neat, but I pointed out to John, hey, look, with my diagram, I can answer all sorts of other questions, too. For example, how many dogs got only a green ribbon? There are 20. I see it right there on my diagram. I had to do all this work to get to it, but I got, I got to 20. Can your subtraction method do that? And he said, hey, that's as easy as pi, too. I'm like, oh, here we go with pi again. He said, no, 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 watch. And he, he showed me. We start with the green dogs, dogs with the green ribbons. There are 37 of them. All right, so we want, we want the ones that have only the green ribbon, nothing else. So when we start with this 37, we're counting all the green ribbons, so we're counting some of these other dogs. And we don't want to include the dogs that got both a red and a green ribbon, and we don't want to include the ones that got a blue and a green ribbon. So we got to subtract them. We're going to subtract them off because we don't want those dogs. We want only the ones that have only a green ribbon. So we're going to subtract 9, subtract 12. Because so we want to subtract off these dogs from the ones who received a green ribbon. And I pointed out to John, but wait a second, 37 minus 9 minus 12, that's 16, that's not 20. You're wrong. I said, hey, I forgot about the super dogs, the super dogs. To remember the super dogs. Let's look at what this count does with the super dogs. Well, I've added them once here because they received a green ribbon. Then I subtracted them once here because they received a red and a green. I subtracted them once here because they received a red and a because they received a green and a blue. So I've added them once and subtracted them 
twice, but I don't want to count them at all. So I have to add them back in to make sure the super dogs are not counted and not subtracted once I've done all of these. So let's, let's check this out again, the super dogs. I add them once for the greens. I subtract them once because they have a red and a green. I subtract them again because they have a blue and a green, and then I add them back in at the end. So now my super dogs are added twice, subtract twice, they're not counted at all, and that's exactly what I want because I want the dogs that have only a green ribbon. And sure enough, 37 minus 9 minus 12, we saw that was 16, and back in that 4, 20. And his subtraction method is pi worked again. So I, I kept trying, I kept trying to think of questions that I could ask him that his, his pi method couldn't do, and I couldn't come up with any. But then he, he looked at me and said, okay, I, you, can't, you can't trip me up, I can always use pi. Let's try out your Venn diagram a little bit more. And he said, what if there was a black ribbon? Throw in one more ribbon. And he gave me the pen, handed me the black pen, and said, okay, add the black circle. Where are you going to put it? In a way that makes your Venn diagram still useful. Took my, I took my black circle and I, I tried. I, 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 maybe you can find a way to put a black circle in here somewhere that'll make all the possible combinations. I couldn't do it, so I, I put my black pen down and said, "Okay, John, how are you going to do it with the subtraction method?" And he said, "Hey, it's as easy as pie, but you'll have to figure out why." <laughs> Thank you.